June 20th, Sean Amir, my Facebook family, my Twitter family, this and CD, all those groups I'm in. CD is scratched. You know what? Uh, 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 let me see it's gonna play. But now, nah, all my fam know my fucking situation, yo. I wanna make things better. I wanna be on top. I don't shit seven times when all those people get down. I got rise to the top. Sean Amir, non-stop. It's hip hop. Thank the call. Oh shit, yes, you got a bowl of crystal in it. Man, oh shit, bring some. That was the shit. I go back and look. Well, first of all, what's going down, everybody out there? I got another video, man, that I shot this morning, but the phone dropped. I might put it out there, but a lot of time when you see them videos cut off abruptly, either it stopped recording when I didn't know it, and I had some very interesting points, so I still put them out there, or um, it's just the phone dropped. Something that, That's what happened earlier. Um, I had... Got a lot of shit going on this this morning. I don't even know why. What the look at this big ass truck? You don't get your big ass home. Like, we get behind people sometimes and they just feel like, well, I ain't got nowhere to be. So your ass ain't getting there either. Like, really? Like really? Um Damn, I feel like I got let me make sure my nose is clean. Shit. Um so yeah, today I dropped my vehicle off. I had it picked up and towed, actually. Had it towed, you know, uh, to get it taken care of so I can get in it this summer. Uh, these streets are just terrible, aren't they? Really? And they wanna charge you a wheel tax. I'm just gonna put it out there. Milwaukee, you got some raggedy ass streets. Now, I know there might be some other cities with raggedy-ass streets, too. But I am a Milwaukee, and I'm telling you, you got some raggedy-ass streets here, out here. It don't make no damn sense. Like, some places, you don't even want to go drive down. Then they want to charge you a 10% wheel tax. Like, if anything, they should be paying your ass for driving on these bitches. Because you're going to fuck up your alignment and shit. Really. But, um... So... I went and had that picked up this morning by AAA. Now I got to stop over by Spencer, two folks, you know, anyway, his mother's house and do a second coat on this um, drywall. I got to do a second coat, mud it again for a second time, then go out to Kildeer. What kind of name is that? Kildeer to finish the job that I'm doing out there while waiting on a call from the place where my convertible is at. Now, I should have just took off today, like, really. I know I'm gonna do this for Spencer's mother, though, really. I mean, she's, she's a sweet lady, like, really, but I, I knew I was gonna do this. This other person that I just met, like, that I'm doing work for it, right? Like this, this cat, you know, he's an older guy, you know, and he's trying to remind me of my father. You know, not per se, but about around that age. And he just been, just seemed like he just been through so much shit that he just, he got a bunch of horror stories. And I'm like, man, hey, I, I'm not like that. Like, it, 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 quiet as, if I go by there today and um, I hear any, Another horse, I explained it to him. I said, man, I, you know, I'm sorry to hear that you've been through all that, but this is this is how I handle my business. So if I go by there today and I hear anything that's negative or draining to me, you know what I'm gonna say? Look, you keep that little $500 and th that's it. You can find somebody else to come out here and fit. You can do the rest of this shit yourself. It, it's really not that serious to me, really. Like, really? Like, people think that I'm just out here and I love all my homies and everybody just the same. But you don't know, behind the scenes, I'm doing more shit than people that you're probably seeing every day. Like, you really don't know 
what I am capable of. Like, you don't, you really don't know how I'm holding it down for y'all asses. Like, really? Like, really? So it is what it is. I just hope that everyone can get out of the higher two to lower three dimensional thinking and say something fucked up that will that will really put them in the position what they what they speaking of because they're not in it now really all people have to do is call i'm getting sick and tired of psychically trying to leave my energies out here like and i'm not saying call and worry me or pester the shit out of me you know no one does that anyway but you know i like i said where's my time at i'm pulling up here right now um i'm gonna go around a lot of times my out like I know people like certain people that I'm not um, really really wit talking to every day and shit like that I put these shits out here on Facebook uh, so people um, cause I know they looking cause I know they seeing it they seeing what I'm on they seeing what my views on and they still can be saved they still can be saved, like, like really, save themselves. I put it like that, I'll just say save themselves. Hate to use the term save because people done ran away so much with it and turned God into a punk. Like no count, just like, you could call his name and, it, and they chat, it's on time when you, when you need it, but it ain't always, whatever, just, all these things, man, just make him just seem like he absent. Like all these people passing and dying and stuff. Like, like he's absent. He just done dropped the ball on a lot of things. Like, like he's like a no count show up person. Like, and I understand that too. Like, you, know, you don't, you don't need to see powers from me. Like, really? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? Can you, can you imagine? Just, I'm just gonna say the story of. Can you imagine the story of Jesus actually coming back? You don't even know what he looked like. How would you know it's him? You, you damn sure wouldn't uh, believe him if he told you nowadays because you're so blinded by this or that that you told was told that should be. Male being male, yeah, of course we know that. Don't be with no women. Because you don't want to make another woman feel bad. Like Jesus wants to help everybody just the same, but it's just one woman out here that just wants him to herself. Like. And if he like talk and he's so loyal that he won't talk to any other women while being with one. Because he don't want to make that one feel that there's something going on he's trying to protect that one's insecurities and shit like really he won't have sex with women women are so drawn to him that they get hot and horny and they don't know why though like and when he don't do nothing to them they're all in their feelings like he ain't shit or he think he's too good like really really are you really ready like really like what you know really people jealous of them just look at the depicturation just i'm just going to say look at the story i'm not saying me just look at the story of and then ask yourself like really would he make it in this time with your asses so like really think about that who's that bitch what? What he? Yeah, yeah right He'll become hated. How many people would call and someone who kept fucking up in the street over and over again, but he has a healing power. People calling him. Like, really? But he don't get over here or he know he shouldn't do this for this person because this person has another place to be or this person did something to that person. But he's still a homie. He's still a homie like. People got calling people on three ways and shit. For you to come over and touch them and bring them back from some shit they got themselves into. You'll be hated. Like, really? Don't nobody want to hear that shit? We grew up together on everything. They can touch this nigga and get him up out of this bed. Really? Nigga, you tripping with your shit. 
You tripping with your little power. And wonder why nothing has been around this world to help your asses, like, or has to be remain stealth. That kind of shit. Or why nothing, no one has really been sent to do it, like, or have come back. You don't come back, you know, unless you think it's just gonna be instant this, like instant oats and shit. Instant oats. With the little water in there, get that water a little hot. Okay, open up one of these brown damn packages. There's either uh, strawberry so and so or or whatever the other one is, like brown sugar. Okay, stir that bitch up in there and you have oatmeal. Like, where's my time at? Um, when I was speaking on Facebook, I, I don't know, somebody may be messing with my page again. I went on Facebook and I seen the Ascension video that I posted, you know, with, with the body, with the uh, body of a person ascending. I seen that twice. I did not see the video that I shot in the truck when I, when it was raining and I didn't see the video I shot Sunday. So then I went back, I looked on Twitter, I went and looked on, and I'm going to finish this up because it's 13 minutes. I want to put it right on Facebook. I went back and, um, looked at it i said okay i'm gonna put this on i'm gonna try to do this again and put it back on facebook again then i went and did that then i seen it on facebook twice so you know who knows you know we got people out here that's just messing around and playing and shit where's my time at but that's what was going on so if it was on there once and then, and then they're playing on people not saying shit i don't know if people can't afford the internet or what like, really? It seemed like you, God damn it, go get a hundred phones and just hand them out. Like, in your business account and shit. Like, a bunch of phones so people can, you know, have shit so they can go to the internet. You don't know if the shit has to be, you know. So, they playing on all that shit and whatever else. It is what it is. Um, but, yeah, y'all keep your heads up to see shit coming. And I got all off of what I really want to talk about because that wasn't it. And I'm here now. One.